Today we're gonna talk about model 2. In model 2, the first question, choose the correct answer. Number 1, if 2x equals negative 6, then x belongs to ha. I know that when we have variable, and this variable multiplied by a number, I gonna divide by this number. So I'll divide 2x by 2, and divide negative 6 by 2. So 2x divide 2 it's equals x. So x equals negative 6 divide 2, it's equals negative 3. But he asking me here not about the answer. He asking me about x belongs to ha, which set. If I look here, it's the negative number. The negative number inside the natural number? No. It's phi? No. It's z positive? No, because here it's negative, so it belongs to z negative. Number two, the circumference of the circle, it's equals, we know the rule, it's 2 by r. He give me by, so what is the missing 2r? Number three, when tossing a die once, then the probability of getting number five is ha. I have a die and I'm gonna toss it one time, so maybe I get number five just one time because in the die I have just one five. So it's one time from the six times because we have six numbers in the die. So it's sixes. Number four, the number which satisfies the inequality x bigger than negative two. X bigger than negative two. Which number is negative is bigger than negative two? It's negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one. I think it's negative one because negative one is bigger than negative two. Question number two complete. I have two to the power of three multiplied by two to the power of five over two to by to the power of uh, of two. I know that when we have the same base in the multiply, I keep it two. Then I gonna make plus two the powers. So when we have multiply, we make plus two the powers. Three plus five it equals eight over two to the power of two. When I have the same pace, I keep it 2, and in the division, I make minus 2 the powers. So 8 minus 2 is equal 6. So now it's a 2 to the power of 6, it's equal 64. Number 2, the set of counting numbers. The counting numbers, it's inside the natural number or not? Yes, it's inside it. And he said the set, so it's subset. Number 3, a cube of total area, 150 squared centimeters, and the length of its age is a centimeter. I should write the rule first of the total area. The total area, it equals the area of one face multiply six, because we have six faces in the cube. Okay. So that means... The area of one face, it's equal the total area 150 divided by the six faces. So it equals 25 squared centimeter. He give me the area of one face. And I know that the area of one face, it's equals the side lengths multiply itself. So which two numbers? I'm going to divide it together and they are the same. Give me 25. It's 5. So the length of its age is 5 centimeter because 5 multiply 5 it's equals 25 the area of one face okay number four in the sixth primary class the marks of the students are given in the following table excellent 8 very good 18 good 16 week 6 if one of the students is randomly chosen then the probability that this pupil got good degree is ha. How many people get got degree at 16? From what? From the total. When we make plus 8 plus 18 plus 16 plus 6, it's 48. So 16 got good from 48. So who got in good? 16 from 48. Then I'll simplify, I divide up and down by 16, it's equals third. Question number three, find the result of 6 multiply negative 5 minus 
2 multiply 3 divide by 3. I'm gonna multiply first 6 multiply negative 5. 6 multiply negative 5, it's negative 30. Minus, I put it down. 2 multiply 3, it's equals 6. Then I put down, divide 3. I put down negative 30. Minus, 6 divide 3, it's equals 2. So negative 30 minus 2, it's negative 32. B. Find the solution set of the inequality x minus 2 bigger than or equal 3 where x belongs to z then represented on the number line. Okay, I should get x by itself. So anything beside x, I move it to the other side with opposite sign. Here it's negative goes to the other sign with positive. So x bigger than or equal 3 plus 2. So now x, it's bigger than or equal 3 plus 2 equals 5. It's bigger than or equal, that means equals 5. So the solution set 5 and the bigger than 5, 6, 7 and so on. When I have this number line, I put circle on 5, then circle on 6, then circle on 7 and so on until infinite like this. Okay, question number four. A. Find the solution set of the equation to x plus 9 equals 5 where x belongs to z. I should get x by itself. So any number beside it, it's moved to the other side with the opposite sign. Here it's positive, goes to the other side with negative. So 2x equals 5 minus 9. So 2x equals 5 minus 9 it's negative 4 variable multiply by a number divide by this number so i'll divide by 2 here 2x divide 2 equals x and i divide by 2 there negative 4 divide 2 it's negative 2 so x now equals negative 2 to the solution set it's equals negative 2 because x belongs to z and z we have negative numbers okay b in this figure, ABCD is a rectangle where its length is 8 and width is 7. Calculate the area of the shaded part. I have a rectangle and he give me the length and width. But inside this rectangle, he give me a circle. And he asked from me to get the shaded part, the area of the shaded part. To get the area of the shaded part, I get the area of all the rectangle first. Then, I get the area of the circle which inside it and I make minus area of all the shape minus the area inside it give me the shaded part let's get the area of the rectangle first the area of rectangle it's multiply it's equals length multiply width and he said to me that the length is 8 and width is 7 so it's a 7 multiply 8 equals 50, 56 squared centimeter. Okay, I should get the area of the circle, which inside the shape. The area of the circle, it's by r power of 2. Let's get by. Here I have the circle. If I make the diameter here, If I make the diameter here, this diameter it's equal to this side. Here the side is 7, so the diameter is gonna be 7. But I should get the radius. So I divide 7 by 2 because I in the diameter I have 2 radii. <coughs> so 7 divide 2 it's equals 3. Point five. So the radius here is equals three point five centimeter. So pi it's equals twenty two over seven multiply by we get the radius is three point five to the power of two. 
so it equals 38.5 squared centimeter. The shaded part is the area of rectangle, all the shape, minus area of the circle, which inside the shape, give me the shaded part. So the area of the shaded part is 56 minus 38.5, it's equal 17.5 squared centimeter. Okay. In the Cartesian coordinate plane, lo uh, locate the points A2, 3, B4, and 3, and C is 4 and 7, then find the length of BC and the image of the triangle ABC by translating uh, translation 0 and negative 4. Okay, let's draw the points first. A is 2 and 3. If I have the coordinate plane here, he said a equals 2 and 3. So I stop on 2, goes up to reach 3. This is my point A. He said that B is 4 and 3. So I stop on 4 in the x axis and go up to the y axis until 3 because it's 4 and 3. Then I put the point P. Point C is 4 and 7, so I stop on 4, goes up to reach 7, and I put C. Then I'll join the points together to draw the triangle ABC. Okay, he said to me that I wanted the length of BC. The length of BC is C minus B. Here the point of C is 7 minus 3, it's equals 4. So when I get the length of BC to C minus P, it's a 7 minus 3 equals 4 units. Okay. He said to me the image of ABC by translation 0 and negative 4. The point A here is 2. 2 plus 0, it's equals 2. 3 minus 4 because here I have negative so minus 4 it's equals negative 1 so the point a a dash it's equals to a negative 1 let's get point b dash 4 and 0 it's 4 so I have 4 3 minus 4 it's equals negative 1 so I have 4 and negative 1. B dash is 4 and negative 1. Okay, let's get C dash. 4 and 0 is 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. So the point C dash is 4 and 3. Let's draw it. 2 and negative 1. I move to 2, then goes to negative 1, it's A dash. B dash is 4 and negative 1. So I move to 4, go down to negative 1, it's B dash. C dash is 4 and 3. Move to point 4, goes up to point 3, it's a C dash. So now we're drawing A, B, C, A dash, B dash, C dash, the image of A, B, C. Okay. Let's move to the next question. B, the following table shows the number of students participating in the school activities. The activities is culture, sports, social, arts. The percentage, culture 5%, sports 45%, social 15%, arts 35%. Represent these data by circular sector. Okay, to represent the data on the circular sector, I should get the measure of central angle. To get the measure of cent central angle, I write 5%, 5 over 100. We make circular sector, and I know that the circle is 36, it's 360 degree. So when I get the measure of the central angle for culture, it's 5%, so 5 over 100, multiply 360 degree. 
when I make it, it's equals 18 degree. The measure of the central angle of sports. Sports is 45%. That means 45 over 100 multiplied by 360 degree. It's equals 162 degree. The measure of the central angle of social. Social is 15%. So 15 over 100 multiplied by 300. And 60 degree it's equals 54 degree the measure of the central angle by arts it is 35 percent so 35 over 100 multiply 360 degree it equals 126 degree then I'll make it in the circular sector so I have a circle I want to get the social first okay Social is 54 degree. So I'll put my protractor, the center of protractor on the center of the circle. Then I move to measure 40, uh, 54 degree. Then I stop to make social. After that, I have here the Angle of arts, art is 126 degree. I move to the last line, I make it here and put the center here of the protractor. Then I keep the zero of protractor on the last line, I draw it and measure the angle. Then I stop this is the, the arts. And I do the same for capture and sports. I move to the last line. I draw it. <coughs> I keep the rectangle on it and measure the degree. Thanks for watching grade 6. See you in the next session, inshallah.